Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. I'm not a music guy, to be fair. So no, not this one. Hey guys, it's uh, Cesar Aspiricueta here, and today I will be reacting to your answers. So the first question is, what do I do in my spare time? The first one is Terry P. He takes his spare time taking opposing forwards out of his pocket. Well, you know, uh, I try, I try to to defend well and, and not allow the, the strikers, but uh, well, that's not what I do in, in my spare time. Pizzi says to study for a degree, which is true. I'm, uh, I'm studying an MBA. I like uh, all the, the business and enterprises, so I'm kind of uh, learning and I'm preparing myself. Hamiti says play darts, which is not true. I'm really bad and uh, I know that here in this country it's a big sport, but uh, I'm not good, so I don't do that. Med H says spending time with your family and playing FIFA. Well, this is true in part because yeah, I spend a lot of time with my family as much as I can. Playing FIFA, I was a big fan of the video game, but with the family and having less time, uh, I don't play anymore. But a few years ago, yeah, I, 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 could, I could agree with, uh, with your answer. Something else that I do a lot is walking my dogs. I spend a lot of time with them. I normally do it in, in the mornings before I, I come for training. The second question is who could be the three guests I will invite to my dinner party? So Tom B says Usain Bolt, Michael Jordan and Dwayne Johnson. Different sportsmen, so yeah. I agree. Could be a nice uh, dinner party. Paula R says Maradona, Iniesta and Pelé. That could be a great dinner. Defending against Iniesta, I played already a few times against him. Uh, Maradona and Pelé, no, but uh, you know, two of the, the best players in football. Uh, it was amazing to, to see them on, on, the, on the screen when I was growing up and it would be a big challenge as a defender to, to defend uh, against them. Ben H says Ryan Reynolds, Elvis and King Kardashian. I don't think that uh, I could choose the, this option, so I would say that Paula R with Maradona and Iniesta and Pelé was the closest one. So the third question is what are my pre-game rituals? Isabel P said tucking in your shirt, <laughs> it's true, of course, <laughs> that's a, a ritual that you can always see. Godwin O says having a little nap. Well, I try to sleep if we have time, you know, before our departure from the hotel and just to rest a little bit. Sometimes you can't because the adrenaline and you're already preparing in your mind. And Anthony says your pre-game rituals are stretching, yoga and hard work. Anthony is right, I do some stretching. Yoga, I don't do it just before the game, but I do it uh, during the week. And yeah, I work hard, uh, of course, that's, I think it's something that I always try to, to do it uh, every time. My pre-game rituals, I try to prepare the game the best as I can. I like to, to stretch, to warm up in the dressing room before I come out. and and then to get into the game, to check everything, to pre-visualize a bit the game of how it's gonna go, or to be ready for, for the first kick and, and be ready for the whole game. So the next one is, uh, what would be my superpower? Ibrahim H says invisibility. Well, that could be nice, but of course they don't see you, so it could be a bit strange. Unruly says teleporting would be a great idea. You can travel very quick, different parts of the world. When it's raining here, you can go a bit to the sunshine or, you know, you can travel a bit quicker. With this weather, it's okay. You know? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes, you know, to, to have the chance to, to go for a bit of sun and enjoy a bit the sea, that, that would be great. Yeah. Victor C says, mind reading. That could be, could be great. Defending is a bit of uh, mind uh, reading because it's true that, uh, you know, I try to analyze a lot the opponents and see what they normally do. Of course, you know, at the end of the day, they can make different decisions, so you have to be ready. But the more information you have, the quicker you can react and sometimes be in that situation before it happens. So that helps you to, to solve a lot of problems. Bob C says flying. I don't like uh, to go high, you know, so I, it wouldn't be a good superpower for me. I think uh, unruly with teleporting, I think that, that would be a great superpower. 
the last question is what's your go to karaoke nick h says never gonna give you up by rick astley what's this question <laughs> what was the, what's the song eh? i'm not a music guy to be fair so ayombami uh, says baby got back by sir mix a lot said no not this one not this one mike t says hero by enrique iglesias it's a spanish that could be easier. You know, the one that I, cho I chose when I came here was uh, Pola Raja de Tufada from Estopa, which is a, a Spanish group. That was my introduction song. So to keep the, the same, I would choose this one. Can you give us a little taste? No, <laughs> I did already. <laughs> Thank you guys for your answers on the fifth stand up. And I hope to see you all very soon. Take care.